Hello and welcome to careerright.com. In this section, I am going to cover PHP interview questions and answers. What is pair in PHP? PHP pair, PHP extension and application repository is a framework and a distribution system that is used for reusable PHP components. Its purpose is to provide a structured mechanism of open source code, a system for code distribution and package maintenance. Pair code is divided into packages which are registered in and downloaded from a central server at pair.php.net. The pair.php.net can be used for package management, release management and account management. What type of inheritance does PHP support? PHP supports single level inheritance. Inheriting a class would mean creating a new class with all functionality of the existing class in addition to some more. The created class is called as a subclass of the parent class. Parent is a keyword which we use to access members of a parent class. Inheritance is usually defined by using the keyword extend. Inheritance avoids redundancy of code. What is session hijacking? Session hijacking is the misuse of valid computer session. It is used to attain unauthorized and illegal access to a system. This access is attained using the brute force attack wherein he tries multiple IDs to log in in a system while the session is in progress. The most common method of session hijacking is IP spoofing where an attacker uses source routed IP packets to insert commands into an active communication between the two system on a network and pretending itself as one of the authenticated users. What is meant by session cluttering? Session cluttering is used to provide scalability for keeping the session data in sync across a clutter of PHP servers. The sessions reside on the machine in which they are created. These sessions are then delivered from one machine to another. This delivery is fully distributed. The Zen session manager is used for transferring sessions from the system to remote addresses. PHP advantages. PHP offers a lot of security mechanisms. Its easy connectivity abilities make it a popular choice for modular programming. It can easily be interfaced with a variety of libraries. It is open source software. Syntax is similar to C, C++, hence easy to remember the syntax. It is easy to use for creating dynamic web pages. PHP has its own community where people can make their own scripts and post as per the requirement. Describe how PHP works. Any PHP web page first interact with the interpreter once a request is sent from the browser. This interpreter is in turn interact with the file systems, database and mail servers. To configure PHP, php.ini file is used. The interpreter uses this ini file to check the settings. PHP interpreter processes the statement enclosed in PHP tag. Each statement ends with a semicolon which directs the interpreter that it is the end of the statement. Difference between functions unlink and unset. Unlink is used to delete the file used in the context. Unset is used to unset or destroy the variable. If a global variable is attempted to unset inside a function, the local variable is destroyed. Explain how to send large amounts of emails with PHP. The mail function of PHP is quite robust for sending bulk emails. SMTP server can also be directly used from the script. PHP mailer class can be used for sending emails. What are the different type of errors in PHP? There are three basic types of runtime errors in PHP. Notices. These are small non-critical errors that PHP encounters while executing a script. For example, accessing a variable that has not yet been defined. By default, such errors are not displayed to the user at all, although the default behavior can be changed. Warnings 
warnings are more severe errors like attempting to include a file which does not exist by default these errors are displayed to the user but they do not result in script termination fatal errors these are critical errors for example instantiating an object of a non existing class or calling a non existing function these errors cause the immediate termination of the script and php's default behavior is to display them to the user when they take place what is the difference between echo and print statement echo can accept multiple expression while print cannot with respect to performance echo is faster than print since it does not return a value print returns 1 or 0 depending on the success what is type juggling in php type juggling means dealing with a variable type in php a variable type is determined by the context in which it is used if an integer value is assigned to a variable it becomes an integer for example var3 equals to var1 plus var2 here if var1 is an integer var2 and var3 will also be treated as integers what is joomla in php joomla is an open source content management system joomla can be used in php as a framework to publish web contents joomla allows the user to manage the content of the web pages with ease explain the purpose of output buffering in php output buffering in php buffers a script output this buffer can be edited before returning it to the client without output buffering php sends data to the web server as soon as it is ready output buffering send cookies at any point in the script cookies do not have to be necessarily sent near the start of page output buffers are stackable and hence sending to output is by choice describe session in php when a user logs in an application his details are usually stored in the session variable this information is available to all the pages in one application sessions in php works using a unique id for each visitor what are the difference between get and post method in form submitting on the server side the main difference between get and post is where the submitted is stored the get array stores data submitted by the get method and post array stores data submitted by the post method on the browser side the difference is that data submitted by the get method will be displayed in the browser address field data submitted by the post method will not be displayed anywhere on the browser get method is mostly used for submitting a small amount and less sensitive data post method is mostly used for submitting a large amount or sensitive data how can we submit form without a submit button we can use a simple javascript code linked to an event trigger of any form field in the javascript code we can call the document.form.submit function to submit the form what are the different tables present in mysql total 5 types of tables that we can create mysm heap merge enodb ism and bdb what is meant by url encode and url decode url encode returns the url encoded version of the given string url coding converts special character into percent signs followed by two hex digits url decodes return the url decoded version of the given string what is meant by mime multi purpose internet mail extensions www ability to recognize and handle files of different types is largely depend on the use of mime standard the standard provides for the system for registration of file types with information about the applications needed to process them this information is incorporated into web server and browser software and enables the automatic recognition and display of the registered file types what is the difference between include and require 
If you require a file, it cannot be found. The script will terminate with a fatal error. If you use include, then you will get an error, but the script will continue to execute. Therefore, when the information you wish to reference from another file, we should use require.